Hello, in this video we will do a very simple thing. We'll write a Python script which will upload a pandas data frame into Google Cloud bucket. And here we will work with this uh, Python script right here. And then we have a uh, terminal activated in this directory. So we have opened a Google Cloud console. It is right here. And the first step in here is to create a Google Cloud bucket. It is right here. You need to select a great bucket and it is quite simple it's just uh, specify the name of your bucket you want to save your panda data frame it is a bucket for panda data frame in my example i'm selecting the region because i'm in lithuania so so i'm selecting the frankfurt that's fine you can select as you want and the default uh, wallace is good for me so i'm creating my bucket okay it is done it's a bucket for pandas data frame Okay, and the next step uh, is to create a service account which will interact with my bucket and with my uh, Python script. So I go to service account from IAM and then I need to create a new one service account specifically for this tutorial. And service account name, let it be, um, okay, account um, for bucket pandas. Okay. Also, you can specify uh, any name that you want. It's uh, I'm creating and continue. It's and it is very important uh, step. You need to specify a storage admin uh, role to your service account. So I'm selecting from this list is a storage admin. This is a full control of GCP uh, resources. So yes, I need to continue with this role. It is very very important. Don't skip it and i can to finalize with my service account right here and then yeah it's a green mark and this is an email and this is the name and the key id and uh, i need to create a new key i selecting to manage keys and uh, i need to create a new key in json format which i use in my python script it is like uh, a handshake between my python script and google cloud console so it is right here saved in my folder and I can check on my terminal here I can see in this list of files so so far so good I can now to uh, create a new Python virtual environment which will run my Python script so it is a uh, very simple to do it's a python minus m we and we and the name of my environment is gcp env it is right here and now i can to activate my virtual environment it is very simple to do you can use a default approach uh, on your local computer and here's it it is gcp env and in this environment, I need to install some dependencies. So the first one is the pandas. So pip install pandas and hit it. Okay, pandas is done. And the next one is to install a Google Cloud Storage dependency. This is also a mandatory for this tutorial. So pip install Google Cloud. And I need to extend my terminal right here on the left. And yeah, Google Cloud Storage and enter. Um, yeah, okay, that's looking fine. Yeah, and don't uh, pay extra attention to this error. So, and uh, for Google Cloud Storage is also done. And I always recommend to check the PIP list that everything is on the place. So Pandas is here, right here. And Google Cloud Storage is also installed on your environment. So we can keep going with this environment and now we can safely uh, create a pandas data frame in this environment. I'm importing the pandas. So I can to quickly create a new um, pandas data frame for this uh, very simple example. So it is data frame with three columns is for this example is enough. So I can save it as CSV file in this directory. So I'm saving. And this file should be uploaded by Python script into your Google Cloud bucket. So here's it, that file. So I will use it in my Python script. Yeah, all the file listed in my terminal, that's fine. Okay, 
And now it's a good time to open the Python script. I have predefined uh, the skeleton of the Python script. You can see on the GitHub on the link in my description. So here's it. And in here you, have, you can see a couple of steps and in this place you should specify your Google Cloud application credentials as your environment variable. It is, the, it is this uh, key from uh, Google Cloud. It is a JSON file. And my recommendation, you should use a full path from your computer into your Python script if you use it on the server side. I always do like this. It's a full path and you never get lost by doing this. So the bucket name, and the bucket name, okay, let's specify it quickly from here. Okay. Okay, and the next, the source file path. The source file path is this one, is mydata.csv that we have saved uh, just a minute before. Uh, and here is a mydata.csv and in here I always use a full path uh, in my uh, destination of my CSV file. Okay, and the last thing is destination blob path. It is where I need to upload my data frame to on my bucket. It is a subfolder and the name of my result file is a my data on GCP bucket. Okay, and as you can see, the skeleton consists of one, two, three, four, and five steps. It is uh, a store uh, initializing the client with GCP, initializing the bucket, and make uplo uploading from a local directory into your bucket. So it is quite simple skeleton. Also, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, you can uh, see it or on my GitHub. I, I provide the link on here. And now I can to execute this Python script. So, let's see what's happening. Oh, uh, okay. The specified bucket do not exist. That means I specified wrongly the bucket name. As you can see, I specified not a bucket name, but I specified the service account name, so I need to quickly replace it. So, I go to uh, buckets, list of the bucket, and here is the name of my bucket, and I need to replace with the uh, what I specified before. Here is it. Now it looks fine. Here's a real name of my bucket. Um, okay, so I can to uh, run again my Python script. It should work. And here you go. The file is uploaded to GCP bucket in this location subfolder my data on GCP bucket.csv. So refresh your bucket right here. And here's it. The subfolder is created in my bucket. I go inside and here's it. This is my file, my data on gcbbucket.csv, it's on the cloud. Here's some metadata you can see. And uh, this is all what I wanted to show in this video. Um, it is quite simple to do, but I really hope that you got benefit from this video and uh, it is quite useful by creating your data engineering pipelines. See you on the next video. Bye bye.